do some of my favorite fonts um, that are free on this is what I what happens when I'm trying to think and talk um, that are free on Canva because there are so 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 many fonts that they provide that you don't have to have the pro account to be able to access some really great fonts so I'm just creating a new font box here I'll make this actually a lot larger so that you have a better view of it mm, pick one Peggy okay so I'm going to show you the following sans serif serif retro vibe because I love some of them on here that give us that fun vibe um, my favorite script fonts and then more of a handwritten look and they're all free so I have a printout for you under the downloads but I want to go over them with you as well so my favorite sans serif on here is called uh, glacial indifference it's a very interesting name so I'll show you what that looks like indifference um, so I'm going to go to fonts and you can just type in your font at the top here, glacial indifference. Okay. So this is what it looks like and it looks good in lowercase, but it also looks good in all caps. Um, what I do when it's all in all caps is I actually, I like to put it in bold and then I like to change the spacing. That's a big one for these, um, sans serif caps i think that they just look better when they're spaced out a little bit more so i've set this to about 100 it says 95. you can also type in the number that you want if you have like a consistent number that you know that you like you can also change line height but um this also looks good when it's not bold if it's like accompanying another font so this is the difference here so i really like this one for sans serif. The next one I like is Open Sans. You are probably familiar with this one because it is, here, let's find it here. Um, it's a really, really common one that a lot of people use and it's a font that you can find pretty much everywhere. Um, and then without it being bold, it looks like this. Um, small version, turn this off, we got Oh, I have caps on open sans bold. So that's what that looks like. It's a really nice, clean um, sans serif font. The next one is Montserrat. You've probably also heard of this one. And let's see, where is it? Montserrat. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Montserrat. Here we go. So there's Montserrat Classic. I like this one because it's got a heavier weight to it. Um, naturally and then when it's in bold it looks really nice you can also use extra bold semi bold um they're re the regular weight so lots of options there but it's a, also a really good one i always want to say monster uh monster it's a really good one to have as well so those are like my top three um another one that i found and i actually didn't even know about it let me get it up is I think it's aileron but I didn't know about this one until I started using canva so it's that sans serif but it also has if you see here on the R it's got this tiny little curvature to it at the bottom which is kind of fun um, without it looking bold it would be like this and then bold so not a huge difference aileron um, so that's another one I like. And then moving into kind of a different style, we've got League Gothic. And that one is a lot more, um, it's a lot skinnier. So let me show you. League, oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing again. League Gothic looks like this. So it's really, really skinny. And then I can also make it in all caps. Um, and then you can, of course, increase the spacing. Another one that looks really similar to this one is, uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but Bebas New. <laughs> Let's hope that's right. Bebas, it looks, oh, that's not the right one. Don't look. Um, here we go. So it's a little bit lighter. Um, I can put it in bold. And then it, there's Bebas New <laughs> Cyrillic. I'm probably getting these all wrong. And it's got a heavier weight to it. Um, that's another nice modern sans serif where it's skinnier in the letter form. Uh, one that kind of looks like Futura to me is this, 
It's called Love Love Low. Um, I don't think that there is Futura on here. Yeah, so I think this is like their version of Futura, um, which is a font that is also heavily used, especially on like Squarespace or emails or something like that. Um, it's got a really nice it's skinny, but it's still fatter, like rounder, and looks really modern. Um, I'll give you a, a, a few few more here. So we got um, Limelight, and it looks like, I keep clicking the wrong thing, Limelight looks like this. It's got a nice weight on one side of it. I like this that it's normal spacing, so I'm going to turn that down. So that looks really good for heading, um, and then I also can turn... Uh, the caps on and it looks really cool like that also. Um, another one, last one I'll show you for the sans serif that I like is called Rig Solid and it looks like this one. So there's Rig Solid Bold and then Medium Fill. Um, this one just has an empty inside and just only features the outline of the letter so that's another good one for headers. So that's sans serif and then we'll move into serif. Serif fonts, um, there's not a, a ton I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you the ones that are my go-to again and again. So the first one is April Fatface. It's got a interesting name. Um, so that looks like this. And I like it because it has a really nice weight to it and I think that it looks nice and formal. Um, I like the thicker. So another version of this, <clears throat> I guess it's not a version of this, but this style is this Yesiva one and whoops, that looks like this. So it's a little more formal looking, um, I guess not formal looking, but a little more uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You get what I'm, I, maybe you don't get what I'm saying. It's got a little more uh, imperfection to it, so it's quite the opposite of the more formal looking, but maybe a little more feminine than April. Um, and then one of my favorite, 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 favorite is Playfair Display. Um, the reason why is because I feel like this font is, I keep closing that, is so versatile. So you've got it here. Um, I can take it off of bold and see it looks really clean um like it could almost be like a newsletter header or like a you know um one of those print out newspaper type of things but then you make it bold and it looks nice like the abril but not quite as thick and when you space it out it still looks really good it just looks a little bit more modern um and then when you italicize it it is so pretty um I'm going to make this a little bit longer because it seems like, oh no, for some reason that F is getting cut off. I'm not sure why, that doesn't usually happen. Um, so pretend it's not, but yeah, so and then when you un unbold that, it still looks really lovely. Uh, you, you can also use the other weights, so Playfair has some other weights. This display black gets a lot bolder. So things to play with, but this one I just love. So let's, I'm just going to show you what this would look like. So see how it just has this really pretty pairing even without having to use another font. So big fan. Um, another one is DM Serif Display. Let me show you that. Okay. So this one, again, it's a little bit shorter, I feel, um, but similar style, and then you can space that out. Um, and then the last one is Noto Serif Display, and that looks like, I keep closing this, why? Uh, that looks like, so there's a ton, actually, but I'll go with the extra condensed in the bolder one. So it's a little more, this one is a little more sophisticated. Um, so those are your serifs. Those are my favorite serifs to use. Now, the moving into more of some playful fonts before we go into script, I just want to show you this collection of fonts that are a lot of fun when you want to maybe put a more retro vibe in. So Coiny, I actually found when I was looking for 
there we go. When I was looking for a font when I was doing a graphic on Canva, I've never heard of this font before, but I love it, especially when it's in all caps. I guess I could have just pressed that button, but um, I just think it's so fun and playful and it rounds, this is a V and then that's a U, so it rounds everything pretty extremely. Another one is Shrikhand. And this one's not rounded and playful, but it does have some rounded edges. Wow, Shrik, there we go. Oh, and see, I'm looking in, why do I keep closing it? Uh, here we go. Um, it's got some rounded kind of bubbly uh, ball serif looking edges instead of having it be like a formal one and it, it is automatically italicized. Um, another one that I think is a little bit more um, elegant looking is Pattaya, but you can take this and do a lot with it because I think that it could kind of cross genres really easily. Same with Galata. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know why I keep closing it. I gotta stop. Okay, so there's Galata. So it's also really nice, um, as far as that nice cross genre, but you could still make it go in like the retro vibe or you can make it go in the playful vibe. Also look at that capital G, so good. Um, Lemonada, okay, this is in that Galata font, isn't it pretty? Um, okay, Lemonada looks like this. So this one's a really fun one to play with as well because it's got that rounded serif kind of look, but it almost looks sans serif. And then lastly is permanent marker. And this one is, the reason I have this in like that retro-ish category is because um, it is very, it reminds me of like a comic book, you know? Like if you were to say pop, bam, pow. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, now we'll move into script font. And I only have four in here that I wanted to write. I'm really picky with fonts. And so these are the ones that I liked the most. So the first is dancing script. Um, I think that it's just kind of nice. It's playful. It's not too formal. Um, like Allura, I'll show you Allura. It's not one of my, it's not on my list, but when I say like nice and formal like that, this is what I mean. It's just not really, I don't know. It's really pretty. Anyway, who cares? Um, <laughs> another playful one is clicker script. See, I just feel like it looks too scripty. I don't know. I'm just picky. Okay, so clicker script is a nice playful one. It's got the little open circle on the the eye, the dot of the eye. Fun trivia, the dot on the eye is called a tittle, T-I-T-T-L-E. You learned something you didn't even know you were gonna learn. Okay, so <laughs> next is Magnolia. So Magnolia script, I feel like this one could actually fit into that retro vibe too, because it's really similar to that Pattaya and Galata. Um, so it's real pretty. And then the one that I really like that is very, very formal looking, but still the way that its um, weight is and whatnot, it just looks, it just looks nice. Like that's just pretty to look at, you know, it's bubbly. It's like those thin upstrokes are bubbly even. So that's fun. Okay, so now we're gonna do handwritten real quick. I love playlist script. I think that it is as close as like that hand lettering look um, that they have that you're gonna get on here. Um, although, oh, there's, there's a few of them. So there's this one and then there's Lemon Tuesday, which I don't know if this is Everyday Tuesdays. I mean, I don't think it is, but it sure does look really similar to her font. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I hope it's hers. If not, either way, it, it's a really pretty font. Um, for hand lettering though, I really like Salima. Salima is my favorite because it's like imperfect. We've got some really thick, I'll make this larger so you can see it. Um, we have some really, really thick downstrokes, but then there, see how they're like really imperfect. So imperfect. I really like that um, kind of dry brush look. I think it's really pretty. Um, okay, so two more virtual, make that capital. Why do I keep closing it? Okay, I gotta stop obsessing, you guys don't care. Okay, virtual, it's cleaner, but it still has that bounce lettering to it. And then lastly, I have shadow. 
Mm, where is it? Here it is. That one's also really, really playful, more upright, uh, more imperfect. So those, it's a collection of my favorite fonts. I have a, let me pull this in here. I have a graphic that you can download. This is what it looks like. And that's in the downloads for you so that you can have that as your quick reference if you love them like I do.